Hey, welcome. In this video, we'll spend five minutes getting to know Ableton Live, look at some of the key features of Session View, how we can import some loops and get playing. So let's jump in and get going straight away. So this is Ableton Live. If you're new to it, you'll probably open it up and go, whoa, this looks like no other DAW I've seen before. Essentially, we have three things to remember. Tracks, clips, scenes. Tracks are vertical columns which contain clips. Clips live in these empty spaces here, which are called clip spaces. Clips are essentially the building blocks of live. They are pieces of musical or MIDI information that when we press play, loop round continuously until we tell them to either stop or play something else. Now loops within the track, so going up and down the list, cancel each other out so you can only have one clip playing at a time. Clips in a line can play on top of each other. We can play clips all at the same time by pressing play on something called a scene. Imagine scene like a section of a song. So for example, if we had an intro where we had a guitar, bass and vocals, and we wanted those loops to press play at the same time, we'd press play on the scene here, which will press across all the clips here. So let's add a folder. Now, if you look in the description below on this YouTube video, there is a link to this free sample pack. So download this and have a go along with me. So what you need to do is find the destination of where you've downloaded the folder. It'll be different, it'll, be, it'll probably be in your downloads for you. Here is my folder and I just drag it into the bottom of this browser library here. Now, if you don't see this browser library, you need to make sure this tab is open here. This is where all your instruments, sounds, and everything lives within Ableton. If we click on this, we have our loops. Now, I've very kindly given you a bunch of loops that are all in key, all in the same time. So you see here we have a tempo, so we can go straight up to here, and this is where we change the speed of our song, so we can type just one, two, three. Now, to load a loop in Ableton, we can simply just drag onto either a channel that says audio, or we can click and drag to where it says drop files and devices here. Now to press play on one of these clips, we simply press the play button here. And now you're hearing the clip. To see what's going on, double click, and now you can see this region of audio that's looping round. So now this will keep looping round until I press the stop button underneath. Now to have two of these going in time, I press play on top. Notice they came in perfectly. That's because we have something in here called a launch quantization. The terminology launch means play in Ableton. So what one bar means is whenever I press play on a clip or launch a clip when in session view, it's always going to wait till the first beat of the consecutive bar. So for example, if I turn this off here, I have this playing, I'm going to launch it on somewhere around beat two and it will wait two beats and then play it. One, two, three, four. There we go. Stop all these clips, I can press the scene. To play all these clips at the same time, I press the scene. Now, super cool thing about this browser is all these loops will be in sync with the stuff that's in Ableton Session View. So now I can go through and I can choose, I can build up some loops. Drag that one in. Let's choose a percussion. Drag that in. That's cool. Great. So now I have like a little riff going on. What I can do is I can click on the scene here and I can press Command D, duplicate a bunch of times. And now I have a list and I can go through and delete some of these clips. So I can go here and maybe delete this one called drum top, percussion, synth, just start with kick and bass. Then maybe bring in the percussion. And then maybe bring in the, tum the drum top percussion and synth, and then maybe just break it down to that again. And now I can just press play by working down the list. So to stop all clips, you see some have play buttons and some don't. You can click this here, that stops all the clips and resets it. So now these two loops will loop round until I tell it to go down the list to a new scene. So let's do that. Let's go to a new scene. Don't forget you could turn clips off, so we could turn the kick off and bring it back up. And then let's take it down to the main one. One, two, three, four. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow for more Ableton tricks and tips like this. If you're very new to Ableton and you would like to learn more, I have a complete beginner's course on Udemy and Skillshare. All the links are in the description below. I've been Craig. If you're new here, hopefully see you again on this channel soon. Bye for now.